All right, what's going on, PML? We got another player profile here. Today we have our commissioner, Jags19. Cody, how's it going? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's going good. Um, I was just doing some bullshit with some graphics, um, trying to bring some leaks, some content. Uh, I got a little lazy, though, and gave up because it was getting pretty frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> trying to add some, like, animation and, like, music to it, so I'm going to have to watch some videos on it and whatnot. Yeah. What do you use for like the graphics you make? Photoshop or? Right now I'm using Canva. Okay, cool. Or Canvas. I think it's called Canvas. Gotcha. It's pretty so, easy. They have a lot of like layouts that you can pick from and just make graphics. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So today we're going to talk about your team and I'm going to start off and say, what are you most excited about for this Madden? This Madden, um, it, uh, Calvin Ridley, using Calvin Ridley is going to be fun. Actually, I'm just excited that the Jaguars are actually just going to be a pretty decent team in general this year, I hope. Based on the ratings, it, it looked like, you know, they kind of favored them a little bit. Got a couple guys that I'm eyeing up that I want to develop and get them up there. Um, as you guys know, the Jaguars are a very young team, so I'm just all about developing myself. I haven't really um, dabbled in too much of the trades just because of development, but I kind of like my team, you know. I have an abundance of linebackers, so I might be open for business there. Gotcha. So you have no trades, like, currently in the works or anything brewing yet? No, no, not really. I mean, I got the Joe I got the Joe sign in my DM per usual. Um I know uh, Skulls has been tugging at me, trying to get his boy Tank from Auburn, um, who has been killing it this year in training camp so far. I don't know if you guys have seen videos of him, but um, he's killing it. I'm excited to use him, unless I trade him. But there's only really one player from him that I want, and that's probably Shark, but he don't really fit my uh, my team scheme anymore, really. He's a little bit on the older side, and he's just he's just not really worthy of Madden anymore. In my opinion, I got you. So, what players are you most excited about playing with this year? Um, definitely Ridley. Like I said, I'm excited to have like an alpha receiver for once, and not having to be able to like trade for one like Chark. I used to have Chark before he left the Jaguars. Um, I'm excited to use Kirk in the slot. Um, they gave Zane Jones. I'm just excited to use that offense, honestly. And then on the defensive side, you know, um, I haven't, like I said, I have an abundance of linebackers. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with all my linebackers and where I'm going to put them and whatnot. But I'm really excited, I think, on the defensive side to use Yasir Adula. Um, they gave him 90 speed, 95 Excel for a linebacker, and he was our fourth-round pick out of Louisville. So I'm pretty excited to use him, honestly, kind of roam around the field, play the left side with him. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's always good to have a good middle linebacker, just someone you can use to lurk around the field with. So where do you see yourself finishing with, you know, season one, one two, just going forward? How how do you feel you're going to do in the division? Um, I feel like, you know, I'll be where I've been the last couple of years, right in the middle of the pack for usual. I think this first year, you know, I'm really going to focus on just trying to develop this team to be set up better for season two and three um you know joe's gonna come in right away he's gonna have probably like a hundred trades it's not even gonna look like the colts team it's probably gonna look like some ultimate team so it's just gonna be hard to compete with him um i think sorcery is gonna be pretty good this first year but then i don't think he really has the players to keep his team up to, to the level of play in the afc south there and honestly wisco is kind of a wild card honestly um I he won what two Super Bowls in the other league, I think, as a different team. So that Texan team is pretty young too. So come like season three or four, you know, he might be right up there. But I'm looking forward to kind of just developing my team this first season. You know, definitely get that positive winning record about nine and eight. If we can make the push for the playoffs, that'd be great. But I'm really trying to focus on just develop this team this year and then get the right pieces through the draft in the offseason and get ready to load up and gone for a championship in season two. 
So while you're gunning for that championship, who do you see as like the biggest threat on your way to a Super Bowl? Uh, in the AFC, that that Bills team you're gonna have over there is gonna be pretty tough. I feel like you're gonna get you're gonna build that team to how you like, and you're gonna get some good players. So that team's gonna be tough coming out of the East every year. Um, obviously Jarrett with the Chiefs, um, he always gives me fits because we played each other so many times that. He always knows what I'm going to fucking do. So it's hard to I get in my own head sometimes. And then obviously Joe, too. Um, he, Me and him usually go back and forth. Um, I give him a run for his money, but usually he ends up, you know, just edging me out there at the end on something. Otherwise, otherwise in the AFC, I don't think I'm too worried, especially not about Lynch. You can quote me on that. How do you think Lynch is going to do in the AFC? It just his style of play just gets him. It can only get him so far, you know. He'll just be he'll be that just ten and six or well, what is it? 10, 10 and seven now, eleven and eleven and six type of team per usual. Um, we'll see what kind of trades he has cooked up because I'm interested to see if he actually stays with Lamar or not because I feel like he's actually bad when he has Lamar. Yeah, I, I could see someone like XS just going out and making some kind of crazy trade for Lamar because that's what he does. He just yeah. plays for Lamar every year. It's to your teeth, which you and uh, Joe were talking about in your guys' video. By the way, great job on that. Uh, it's not easy fucking doing this shit, honestly. So appreciate it, honestly. Yeah, no problem. So you got Trevor Lawrence coming off a pretty good you know, season in real life, made the playoffs. It, did they make him better this Madden? Is he going to be... Do you think he'll be like an X factor? No, I do think he will be a superstar. Because last year when we started the franchise, he actually turned into a superstar. Every franchise he started for whatever reason, he always started as a super, superstar for whatever reason. So, and I feel like this last past, you know, half of the season, he really showed that he is that. He's becoming that guy, that guy that they all said he was. So I'm very excited or what's in store for that team in real life, honestly. Yeah. Are you going to try and, like, utilize or utilize his legs or anything like that this year? They did give him a, defen- a decent speed. I think he's 89, 89, or 88, 89. Pretty decent. That's I know there's a lot of – yeah, I was pretty surprised on that. I know there's a lot of decent speed quarterbacks out there. I haven't looked at all of them, but I know um, – what Daniel Jones was upper 90s on both or something like that, mid 90s, low 90s, something like that, which is kind of crazy. Um, you might see the the year the this might be the year the return of the options become uh, a popular thing and stuff. We'll have yeah, to see. I'm wondering if quarterback runs are going to be back this year because Wind was kind of talking about that, and I've kind of seen some of the gameplay, and it seems like the contains aren't as strong this year, and it may be another year where like. Quarterbacks who can get outside of the pocket are going to make some big plays. Um, one thing I want to add to that, though, is I get kind of scared running with Trevor because sometimes, you know, you, you get past that first guy that tries to hit stick you and you try to get a little bit more than you probably shouldn't <laughs> and you end up getting rocked. Uh, I don't want to lose him because, yeah, that just kind of – it just hampers the offense in general. So, And I thought I saw somebody post something about – Quarterbacks being more injury prone this Madden, if I wasn't mistaken. Yeah, some I think someone did post that. They said they're going to be more prone, or at least there's like at least sliders to kind of adjust for that. So yeah, so I'll have to but definitely definitely figure that out because I don't want Trevor taking hits like that. Maybe you know I, my my thing is always um, I always usually sign like a kind of a mobile quarterback kind of guy, and I kind of kind of put him in there to run like read options and stuff. But then, you know, it kind of gives away, it kind of tilts your hand a little bit on what you're going to do. Yeah. So for you to make the playoff season one, what has to go right for you? Touchdown to interception ratio has to go right for me. I, I feel like if I can, if I can lean on that run game a little bit more. Um, like I said, I'm excited. If I end up keeping tank, I definitely kind of want to utilize a two running back system with ATN. Um, as Joe mentioned, like last year, I, I use him a bunch. I use him in the passing game. I use him in the running game. So 
eventually he's probably going to, you know, get injured and stuff. So I just want to have that backup. So I feel like if I can get that TD and interception ratio down where it's more touchdowns and less interceptions, I'm a shooter for the playoffs. But that defense yeah. is always on lock. Yeah, it, I mean, that touchdown to interception ratio, I would imagine if you go and look like at any season that we've had over the past couple of Maddens, the majority of users in the league are negative. It's yeah. it's incredibly tough to have that positive ratio. And even if you do have it positive, a lot of people still have like 50 touchdowns, 45 interceptions to where it's still, if this was real life, this would be horrific. So yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to lean in that run game a little bit more this year. See, kind of, I don't know. We'll see. I, I kind of, I want to lab a little bit. See, kind of go with a different offense a little bit this year than what I normally used to. Having like a fast guy, tall, fast guy where I can chuck it up to or just kind of run it up the middle. We're going to we're gonna add a little couple different things this year on our offense. Yeah, they, they say they've kind of like re- revamped the run blocking to where like, you know, they did add the adaptive AI to where like if people are running like the same kind of play over and over. Oh, the, I did, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the defense is going to be able to like basically jump it as the play starts. They'll understand what's coming. But then they said like, there's been some aspects like the downfield blocking and kind of pass protection. They've got a lot better with that logic. And they say that like downfield, they're not just going to miss a random safety. They're going to actually block them. So yeah, like there's nobody in front of them. They're going to go to that second level and try to find somebody, actually, not just fucking stand around and get in your fucking way. <laughs> yep. So, so, knock you so down. He- hearing that, it, it almost makes you think it may be a year where, like, you almost see, like, the sweep or, like, uh, outside power game kind of <laughs> really, like, take over again when the past few Maddens have kind of been more inside run based. Most definitely, most definitely. I Like, we're, like I kind of mentioned earlier with the – um, options. I feel like the RPO and the options and the run game are going to be pretty big this year. Yep. Awesome. Well, is there any like parting shots you want to fire or anything you want to say before we end this? Um, I hope you guys are as hungry as I am. Uh, kind of sucked last year with uh, getting uh, cut short. Not something we're really used to. Two seasons is something we really pull around here. So. I'm just excited to get back in the, to the swing of things and play some games. And um, I'm going to make a ball prediction for this season or for this Madden in general. We're going to have some new blood that win some Super Bowls this year that have never won before. I'm calling at least two or three guys that have never won a Super Bowl or win a Super Bowl this Madden. Okay. Is there is there anyone in particular you want to want to shout out? Uh, the three that come to my mind are tiger echo and vegas <laughs> so everyone who's kind of been to the super bowl but just never closed it you think this is it they're doing it this year they got to they got to they finally can do it i believe in them unfortunately um, for all of them they have to get past seafield super eagle team yeah that is true it is going to be tough but he does he has to play them at what six times yeah, six times a year. So, I don't know. We'll we'll see how that ends. Because you know, I mean, like a division like the okay, not a division like you know the NFC North or the NFC South that's not so strong. There could be like one team or two teams that just beat up on the rest of the conference, and then only one or two teams from the East are actually going to get in just because those guys beat each other up all season yeah. long. It'll be interesting with the division with uh, Seafield and vegas and tiger because they're all good users but it's not like because they have so many divisional games it's not like they can just beat up on people and if zerpley's good then there's no one in their like divisional games where they can just be like i don't know for instance i played the with like cu and berg really tough games but then i had a jot in my division so that's two games where it's like if i have a breakout i'm getting that breakout that game and you know what's happening but with with Seafield and and Vegas and Tiger, that's they're gonna have to earn their stats that they get. Most definitely. I do think the level of just the play in general of PML right now, I feel like it's pretty we have, you know, we have kind of our tiers, but I feel like it's pretty like, you know, pretty level all the way through, honestly. Yep. 
one thing I was talking about with uh, Sorcery is that, that season one is always the season where you see a lot of surprises. It's, it's a new Madden, you know, some people aren't acclimated to it, and you see just people who haven't developed their team. So I, I think season one will be really interesting. Yep. Yeah, because people are still trying to figure out the game, what do, what works, what doesn't work, trying to figure out what's good with their team and whatnot. So I agree. Season one is always the most interesting. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for your time, and uh, good luck this season. Hey. Duval!